Today, we're testing some of the most popular indoor HD antennas on the market. Now, antennas are nothing new, of course, but antennas like these have been a staple of cord cutting for years now. You've got the standard sheet of plastic that goes up in your window, but there are also some other different designs out there for you to consider, and we're gonna have a look at a few of those today. Now, because we're going to be comparing these antennas and rating them against each other, we're gonna need some baseline numbers. I live in the Salt Lake City area where, according to antennaweb.org, I can get up to 79 channels. That's a lot of channels. Well, but before you get too excited, bear in mind that a lot of those are gonna come in packages. For instance, you've got KBYU, that's a local channel here, and then there's KBYU FM and BYU Radio. So three channels, but two of those are actually radio stations. But still, that 79 channels gives us a baseline number to work with. How many can these antennas find? Now, my older antenna that I've been using for years now got 30 of those channels when I ran the test. So now we've got something to compare the newer antennas against, and we're gonna go through them one by one. If you wanna watch the whole thing, you're gonna get a good idea of how they all stack up in comparison to each other. But if you just wanna see the one that you're thinking about buying, then check out the timestamps and you can skip around just a little bit. Now with each of these antennas, I placed it in the same location as close as I was able to so that I could get the most accurate comparison possible. All right, so now with all that in mind, let's dive in. So thanks for watching everybody. If you appreciate this video, if you like what we do on the channel, then don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. All right, so let's get started looking at these antennas. This is the drill top. Its range is anywhere from 35 miles unamplified to 200 miles amplified. At least that's what it claims. I wasn't able to drive 200 miles to test it, but I was able to see something with the uh, amplifier. We'll get to that in just a moment. It promises picture quality up to 4K. That's going to depend on what is being broadcast, not on the antenna itself. And it mounts, as you can see, it's this thin piece of plastic. You can mount it on the window, on the wall, uh, and they do include stickers with this. You can also lay it flat if you just wanna put it on a tabletop. That works also in most locations. In order to install this, it just goes uh, to a coax connection at the very end, and then you connect that to a splitter, which then goes uh, into coaxial and a USB connection. That's how you're gonna power the amplifier on this. Now, as far as the performance I got here, I got 52 out of 79 channels. Out of all of the uh, antennas that I tested today, this was the highest channel count that I got. Now, I will note with that amplifier, without the amplifier on, I did get slightly fewer channels. Honestly, none of them were channels that I cared about. Uh, but I will say, as long as I had that uh, amplifier on, I was able to get slightly better picture with it a little bit fewer streaming artifacts. Those are those little, you know, the squares and the things that appear on the screen as you're watching. As for the price on the drill top, it comes in right at the average that you would see for an HD antenna like this. And so with that average price, but above average performance, I'm gonna give this one a pretty high rating, 4.5 stars out of five possible. I do wish it looked a little better, but hey, maybe it's right up your alley aesthetically. This is the Gesso Bite. Gesso Bite? Gesso? I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> but it's very similar to any other uh, antenna that you would see like this. It's a rectangular piece of plastic that goes up in your window or on a wall, and they do include stickers for that so you don't have to rustle up your own stuff to put it up. The range that it promises is 35 miles or 200 miles if it's amplified and it does promise up to 4K picture quality, but that is always going to depend on what is being broadcast, not on what's doing the receiving necessarily. So once you've got it up in your window or mounted up on your wall, whatever you're doing to install this, it's going to go into the coaxial connection on the back of your TV, and the amplifier is powered by USB. It's got a coax and USB splitter built right into the cord. And if your TV is an older model uh, and doesn't have a USB port on the back, then they do provide a connection for that so you can plug it into the wall. As for the performance, I, once I plugged this thing in and tested it out, I got 48 out of 79 channels. That is higher than the average of what I'm getting with all of these antennas that I'm testing. Not much higher. Uh, and it's not the highest that I got, but it was a very good performance. Now you can turn off the amplifier and you may want to do that if you live really close to the transmitting antenna. But for me, in this case, I got the same channel count either way, but I will say the picture quality that I got 
was slightly better with the amplifier. And just for reference, I live about 30 miles from the uh, transmitting antenna. Now, pricing on this one is interesting. It's right in line with the other antennas in this range. And so it's not uh, any cheaper or more expensive. It is interesting though, when I looked again this morning, just before I started filming, it was no longer available on Amazon. I presume it will come back at some point. Who knows what happened there? So, <laughs> so I am reviewing it still. Uh, but right now I wasn't able to find it. Regardless, if you can get your hands on it, it's a good antenna. I give it four stars out of five. This is the Luxtronic antenna. It is an unpowered antenna, meaning it does not have an amplifier that comes with it. As such, it has a range of 50 miles. And like other antennas that we review here, it does promise up to 4K quality if that is what's being transmitted by the station. That's going to be more up to what's being transmitted, not so much up to what is receiving it. But anyway, this one is different. As you can tell, it is not a slab of plastic that you put up in your window. This kind of has a heavy magnetic base and then the antenna screws in on top of that. Now the base, like I said, is magnetic. So you can imagine the things you could do with that. You could put it right on the back of your TV on certain TVs. A lot of use cases for this one mentioned putting it on the back of an RV. So yeah, that's a possibility if you're traveling traveling a lot and you're still within range of, uh, of a transmitting antenna, then this might be a good option for driving around. Now, as far as installation goes, really nothing to it. Put this on a tabletop or on the back of your RV, whatever, and then it's got a, I don't know, eight or 10 foot coaxial cord that comes along with it. As for the performance on this, I got 44 channels out of the 79 possible here in this area, which was right around average. So not too bad. The only problem might come is if I were a little further away from the antenna, I'm about 30 miles away uh, from the transmitter, then I might not have gotten such good uh, results on this. The good news with this antenna is that it does come in about 10 or 15 bucks cheaper usually than the average antenna that you would find, the average HD antenna. And I do like that it's got this profile here where I, I think it kind of looks good on a desktop maybe, uh, and it does give you that option to take it on the go if you want to. Uh, but I do think it needs an amplifier. You gotta have that option. And so because of that, I am going to give it 3.5 stars out of five. So good, not great. This is the Success HD antenna. This one is very interesting. It promises a range of 120 miles and picture quality up to 4K. Again, that is going to depend on what's being transmitted, not on what is receiving. But you know, they put that on the box, right? Now this one is interesting because it's not the thin slab of plastic that you put in your window. It comes on a stand right here at the base. So you can place it on your tabletop or you can actually bolt it into the wall and you can mount it either vertically or horizontally. There's another uh, little slot right here in the back for you to put it on the stand. Now this installs much like other antennas with a coaxial cable into the back of your TV and a USB uh, connection for power. That's if you wanna turn on the amplifier. Now with the performance I got on this, I got 48 out of 79 possible channels in this area, which is higher than the average, uh, what I tested with these antennas. Other than that, there was nothing out of the ordinary besides the design. But this was the most expensive unit that I tested. It came in a few bucks more than other units like it. So because of that, if it's, uh, if it's an aesthetic that you really like and you wanna put it on your desktop, you don't wanna put something in your window, it is still a good option, even though it's a couple bucks more expensive than normal. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and give it 3.5 stars out of five, simply because frankly, it's a little bit bulky. It's a big unit. And so wherever you put it on your wall or on your table, it's gonna take up a lot of space. Still, it's a good antenna. This odd looking thing is the GE Enlighten. Okay, now this one has the lowest range out of anything that I tested in our antenna lineup here. It promises 45 miles. Like every antenna nowadays, it has 4K printed prominently on the box. Now, of course, that is going to depend on what's being transmitted, not on what's doing the receiving, right? But where this antenna is very different is how it mounts. This is going to rest right on top of your TV, and then it installs via a coaxial cable and a USB connection. Now that USB connection is different. That is not for an amplifier for this antenna. If it had an amplifier, it would probably do more than 45 miles. 
But in this case, it's got a light on the back of it. So when you set it on the back of your TV, it lights up the wall behind the TV. If you have a TV that is flush mounted to your wall, this isn't going to work very well. But if you have a TV that's on a stand or if you can pull it away from the wall a little bit like I was able to do, then you can see how it lights up the wall behind it. The idea behind this is that it's going to ease your eye strain. If you're watching in a dark room, it kind of lights up the area behind and around the TV and this takes care of a little bit of the eye strain of watching a screen in a dark room. I myself found it uh, unimpressive, but hey, I don't know the science behind it. Uh, but I, yeah, I didn't see a lot of difference whether I used it or not. As far as the actual performance of this antenna as an antenna, I got 40 channels out of a possible 79. That's about 50% of the possible channels. And that was the least amount of channels that I got of any antenna that I tested, which is weird. I mean, this is a GE product, right? This is supposed to be the Cadillac, but no, not so much. The picture quality of the channels that I did get, yeah, it wasn't great. There was a lot of flickering on those channels, a lot of those artifacts that you don't want to see in the middle of whatever you're watching. So yeah, it's it's not my favorite. This is my least favorite antenna of everything that I tested uh, simply because of that performance. Now, one selling point that it does have is that it supports ATS-V 3.0, which will someday be a necessity for HD antennas like this, but it's not yet. And that's good, but it's not enough to overcome its other shortcomings. The pricing is right in line with other HD antennas, so you're not gonna be paying any more or less, but while you get the backlight on it, you also don't get an amplifier, which means that you're not gonna get as good performance with this. So I give this two stars out of five. You might enjoy the backlight feature, I guess, and maybe that would bump it up for you. All right, so for my money, from the antennas we looked at today, I would probably point you toward the drill top. It got the most channels and it had the most consistent quality of all the antennas that I tested today. I also did like that little Luxtronic. I kind of like the design, I like the indoor-outdoor nature, and I like the price point because it is lower than the others. But without an amplifier, I'd say it does still get stuck in second place. The only one that I'd really say to stay away from for most people would be that GE antenna with the backlight. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do a lot of videos like this and I hope they are helpful. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next time.